Any of those buildings were built. Any of those buildings were built. Any of those buildings. We left here in 19... We left here... Uh, Chuck Road was built, opened in 1967. I had just turned nine, um, because my birthday's on this building. So we, um, I remember walking down here, we were so happy carrying whatever, and we just had to walk two blocks down there. My father's barbershop, Keith's barbershop was on that block over there, on that next block. It was where there's just a playground now. Of course, that wasn't there. The beginning of the book. So you can 414. The beginning of the book is right here. So talk about it. So he's a uh, Trey pulls up. He's a doctor now. And he's got his two sons with him. And he's here because he wants uh, to celebrate his parents who had been major community activists right here. And the help of Community Center, which is down the block, was celebrating it and changing the name, renaming it after them. So they, he was asked to come and uh, celebrate his parents. So he's apprehensive. Back then, he's, uh, there weren't gates like this. There used to be chain link, um, silver posts with chain link, of course. That was my my apartment right there, 4H. So he stands here talking to an elder who did, he doesn't remember at the time, but is telling him how. And, and we don't know at the time, but his brother, who used to be brother the junkie, but becomes Paul. And Paul, like St. Paul, mm -hmm. whose life was changed. Okay, so he that's who he is. Remember that this is an allegory. All right, and um, everybody represents something else in the community. Passion is passion. Justice is justice, okay? Mm -hmm. So brother is brother. Everybody's brother. So this, is like, this is the back of the building. So when you come down from the lobby, we could go either choose one, the back staircase or the front, and we'd come through the back. But then... Um, until it wasn't safe anymore? Until, until it wasn't safe, you know, and my mother was like, do not go down the back staircase so we didn't listen we walked down the back staircase anyway and uh it was a body uh, od needle still stuck in the arm and that was the last time i stuck we came down the back staircase i had gotten bad it was really bad uh, our apartment was right up here 4h uh, it was all this way but it became um a hiding place, you know, for the drug addicts, you know. So this is, uh, before that, it's, it's, it's really nostalgic for me to even be here. So I have one question to ask about just the community that you were used to versus the community that you, uh, that, I see now? that you see now. What's 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 one of the biggest changes that you that you're sad to see? Well, the energy is different because um, there was almost like uh, the lightness in the air. There was a love in the air. There was a concern. Uh, you don't see the smiling faces. Um, there were there were several benches out here. People that you knew were sitting on them. Somebody was always looking out for you, and. Um, smiling at you, concerned about you. Friends were all around. And um, it was well kept. Not that it's, you know, filthy now. No, you know, they're still keeping it up. But the energy's changed. Now it's known as violent. Before it was known as protective. You know? So that's the major change. Um, some of the landscaping is not the same. It was kid friendly. Children felt welcome. You knew kids lived here. You know, and um, I 
think it was lighter. Um, the 414 said it happened. 